Hey guys, hope you are so well. Welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new here. It would mean so much if you could hit the subscribe button if you're new. It would be amazing to have you as part of the M Shell family. Get comfortable. Today I am going to talk to you about the 10 best handbags, designer handbags under £1,000. So without further ado, let's get going. Everything mentioned on this video is linked below. Just click show more or click the little arrow if you're on your mobile and I really hope you enjoy this. So number one is the Gucci Soho Disco Bag. I mean, it had to be, didn't it? It comes in at 800 pounds, which I think is great for a Gucci bag. You know, they can go up to thousands of pounds. The Gucci Soho Disco Bag is one of those bags that a lot of people have and there's a reason for it. It's that kind of gorgeous soft leather, but it's still grain, so it's not gonna get damaged. I've been told that that's a kind of nice durable leather, but it still feels soft. It has the double G on it, so it's very distinguishable. It's very kind of on brand, but it's also a cross body, which people love. I know for me personally, I love a cross body bag. I just think they go with everything. You can pop it on your shoulder if you want to wear it for like a night out bag, or you can pop it across your body if you're using it as a traveling bag. I also know that the Gucci Soho Disco is kind of like the perfect size. It's not too small and it's not too big and you can get so many different color variations. I'm sure there are some people in the world that literally have every color in the Gucci Soho Disco, but I just think it's such a nice staple. It's such an easy to wear designer bag, a nice kind of intro to designer maybe, and I know so many people have it. I personally love it in the neutral color, and it's, I have a Gucci Marmont bag, but I got it in velvet, and it would have been better to get something in leather, so at least with the Gucci Soho Disco, you know that you can clean it down. Number two is the Mulberry Bayswater Tote. Now, so many people are massive Mulberry fans, and I think this is such a good everyday classic staple bag. It's also really big. You get bang for your buck. It's £695, and it comes in so many different colours. I personally like it in like the slate kind of colour. I'm really into my neutral colours, or you could get this in a black, or even the kind of like nice dark red colour, and I just think it's one of those bags that you can sling over your shoulder, goes with everything. I would personally use this as like a tote to put my books in if I was kind of going to meetings, or my laptop in it, or even like my gym kit and my laptop and everything if I had like a day of meetings and then going to the gym. It's just a really good kind of essentials bag to pop your iPod in, new pair of shoes, and it's one of those fail safe kind of, everyone knows it's a mulberry bag, it's beautiful leather, and it also has a removable pocket in it so you can store your little valued things as well. Number three is the Gucci Marmon small shoulder bag. Now I absolutely love these bags. This is kind of a more affordable version of the Gucci Marmon bag. I have a medium version of the Gucci Marmon bag. It's slightly different to this one, but this is kind, and you can get the super small version of my one for around 800 pounds, which I'll link below, but I'm not including it in this video because it is super small. We're talking like super small. This one, the Gucci Marmont Small Matter Lace, I can't pronounce it, even though I own one, shoulder bag, is actually a really nice size. It's not too small, it's not too big. I'd say it's kind of a medium size. It's a little bit smaller than mine, but it's much bigger than a lot of shoulder bags. And I am like Mary Poppins. I put so much stuff in my handbag, so this will be perfect for me. And the reason that I think this is great is because the strap is leather, but it also has the gold detailing. And I just think it's a really nice, structured, classic piece. It comes in at 885, so for Gucci, I think that's pretty affordable because the kind of flap over ones do start at like 1,300. Next up is the Chloe Marcy Mini Leather Shoulder Bag. Now, I think this is absolutely stunning. It kind of has that Dior Saddlebag look to it, but it's 715 pounds. So this is actually one of the cheapest on this video. I think Chloe is great because they do do some really affordable bags. If you get the C by Chloe bags, they're even cheaper, but this one is actually by Chloe, and I just think it's divine. I think the way that it sits as a crossbody, as you can tell from this video, I like crossbody bags, but there are some more totes in here. Do not worry. I think it looks like that you get a lot of bag for your book. Like it looks quite thick, like literally like a saddle when it's on the picture in front of someone. And I like the kind of little detailing. I think with Chloe it's nice because it's very understated. People who know designer would know that it's designer. And I think it's like a really nice boho design as well in all the different colors. I know they do it in cream, which is divine. But for me, the brown is also gorgeous. It's like a really nice soft grainy leather and I just think it's such an easy to wear, throw on staple. And I think particularly for summer, brown just goes with every kind of 
of outfit with like a nice white shirt it's just beautiful this one also has an adjustable shoulder strap which a lot of them don't have so I think that's a bit of a bonus as well so you can kind of style it up and kind of wear it as it suits you whereas the other ones it's kind of just the way the strap sits is what you get next up we've got the salon one me and my Yorkshire eyes, I'm trying to pronounce it. Lou monogram embellished leather belt bag. So belt bags are massively in and they're those kind of bags that I just think, it's like one of those things that when I was at uni everyone would wear bum bags and I was never cool enough to wear a bum bag. But then everyone started wearing Prada ones and YSL ones and it's like, oh my God, that's vibe, that's really cool. So I want to talk about two Saint Laurent bags in this little section because Saint Laurent kind of for me became affordable in terms of the designer stuff when they launched their kind of blogger camera bag. So the blogger camera bag is also called, I think this might be a new season one, the Lou camera leather crossbody bag. This one is slightly bigger than the original camera bag which was maybe like this size which for me was a little bit too small. Oh my god, this one is 925, so it's a bit more expensive than the previous camera bags, but it's insane. This is like, they do it in nude, as you can see on the picture, which is just divine. And this is their leather crossbody bag with a gorgeous gold YSL logo. I love the logo when it's gold in an amazing leather that's kind of going to actually last. And it's their camera bag, but a little bit bigger, so they've listened and maybe realised that with an iPhone Max, that is not fitting in a small camera bag. A blogger wants to fit their vlogging camera. I mean, my actual camera, like my professional camera, is so big it would never fit in there. A phone, a vlogging camera, your lipstick, and this can fit a lot more. Next up, we have got the Chloe Mini Faye bag. I think this is absolutely stunning, and one of my friends actually has a bigger version of this, and oh my gosh, it is drop dead divine, but it's very expensive. It's really interesting because usually the bigger the bag is actually not that more expensive. Usually I find that it's the smaller bags that are expensive. Um, but the mini leather fade chain bag is 875 and I actually think it's so cute. It just kind of sits there and it's different to your kind of average bag that just has like the zip around because it looks so different. It has that gorgeous Chloe style with the loop at the front of it and it's also similar to the Gucci. It has the cross body strap in gold chain which I think makes it really durable. This one is suede or velvet so it probably will get a little bit ruined like my Gucci one did so it's one that you might have to protect or take some care of but if you are someone that likes Chloe and you really like this design of bag I just think it's a bit different to the Gucci that we see all the time and the YSL I mean I'm a trend whore I want the Gucci but having friends that have this bag I know that it looks utterly divine and it's such a staple. It's one of those kind of instantly recognizable design of bags and it's kind of got those 70s vibes I would say. It's the Chloe iconic silhouette so I think for designer bag lovers they know that this is just such a nice little staple piece and it's actually really cute as well but you could actually get things in it, it's not too small. Oh, for the next one she's going small, the Mulberry Lily chain bag. Now I couldn't not talk about this because I feel like it's very old school but it's one of those bags that's stuck around and it's very classic. 795 but sometimes you can get in the sale for like 600, 650. I will link everything below so if there is a cheaper option it will be linked below, do not fear. It's just one of those kind of effortless bags that a lot of people have because it looks really nice and small, it's like about this size, but it has quite a lot of width so you can cram some stuff into it, trust me, I'm the queen of cramming things into it. It's got that gorgeous Mulberry Postman's lock that everyone knows and loves for Mulberry and it's just a classic design, I absolutely, I know I've said it a lot but I am a sucker for a gold chain, so classy, so easy to wear, you can throw it across your shoulder. This for me is a really nice kind of evening out dinner bag. I probably wouldn't use this so much on like a day to day basis, it is quite diddy but actually it depends what I'm taking out of me, like I actually need to stop forgetting my keys and getting locked out of my house. It's like a really nice compact designer bag, you can get the medium version which tends to be around 800 so for me I'd probably go for the medium over the small but at least you have that option. I just think it's one of those deceptive bags that actually because it's not completely sturdy but it has that like nice shape to it, you can squeeze a bit more into it and also the compartment inside it has like a really nice long zip so it's good to actually be able to put your things in. I hate nothing more than a designer tote bag or something that doesn't actually have any pockets inside it. Next up, the Stella McCartney logo tote bag. I personally don't own any Stella McCartney but I know people love Stella McCartney and I had to talk about this because they do this in black and they do this in brown. I absolutely love the brown one but back in the day when I was at uni, 
I would have definitely bought this in black because it's one of those sturdy bags that you can just pop on your shoulder. I had a Givenchy one that was similar and I wore it into the ground. I put my laptop in it, my study books, everything every single day and that's kind of what you want from like a tote. I am that person that actually uses designer bags. I know so many people love theirs so much and keep them in their dust bags and I wish I was that person but when I spend that amount of money on something I like really love to use it and they get a lot of wear and tear. But this comes in at 560 making it the cheapest out of the bags and I have to say the quality of some designer totes is a bit rubbish. The quality of this you can tell it's such a beautifully structured bag. The leather looks really thick and even the straps they don't look like they're the kind of leather straps that are going to snap. Yes that happened with my Givenchy because I put far too much weight on it. Not Givenchy's fault, that is my fault. <laughs> But this is just a lovely bag. I love the contrast between the colour inside as well with the black one. And it also comes with a detachable pouch. So you basically get in two for one. You could take that out and use that as a clutch or just use it as a purse. Or it's perfect for storing valuables in. Or you could just take it out like on your coffee break or something like that. This is also made from smooth faux leather. So I think that means that it would be vegan as well. Which is really good for those of you that maybe want a designer bag but you don't want to get a real leather one. Last but certainly not least, the Saleron Reeve Gauche Tour tote bag. I love this bag. I have added it to my cart so many times. They brought it back in black this year and they also, luckily I have found it online in the neutral colour. I love the neutral colour. The only reason I haven't got it is because it's one of those bags that needs wiping down and I'm always very orange and have foundation on my hands and lots of tan everywhere and I will just batter it. But all my friends have this bag. It looks amazing at the beach. It looks amazing for brunch. And it's huge, like it is huge. You can fit so much in it. And as someone that always carries a laptop with her, because I'll run to a meeting, then I'll sit in a coffee shop and do work, this is a perfect bag for me. The nice leather handles are actually really good thick handles, so you can really pop it around. There's nothing worse than a tote bag that you can only fit on your inner arm and you can't actually pull up onto your shoulder when you need to get a real stomp on. And this is just divine. Salon do actually do another tote that's a leather tote, which is around 800 pounds. Very similar to the Stella one, kind of, maybe a little less durable because the straps are a bit thinner. So I would personally go for the Reeve Gauche because I absolutely love the big logo. Give me the big logo and I love the neutral colour. So there we have it guys. A whirlwind look at my top bags for 2020. Designer bags under a thousand pounds. As I said, everything is linked below and I really hope you enjoy this video. Please smash the like button, it really helps my channel. And if you could subscribe, that would mean so, so, so much to me. And come say hi on Instagram, at mshellx. Let's chat, I would love to have you. Thank you for watching guys, so much love.